That's permanent diamond teeth. Yeah, permanent. No snatch out, you feel me? Top and bottom. And I got a solitaire stone in the middle of each one, you feel me? The only motherfucker got that, Birdman. Oh, you wow. You feel me? And then shit, I got diamonds underneath him, you know what I'm saying? So he got the regular slug with a solitaire. I got a fully iced out tooth with a solitaire on top of it, you feel me? So diamonds on top of diamonds, you know what I'm saying? And what type of diamonds, what type of carrots? Give me the shit, scope of uh, everything. Flawless diamonds, shit, uh, let me say top eight, bottom eight, shit, uh, 20 pointers up top, solitaire, 15 pointers down bottom, solitaire, you feel me? And then just flooded out the rest of that shit, all of them flawless though. Now, how old were you when you got that done? Shit, I just got them redid, psh, like, last month. Got the solitaires put in there, you know what I'm saying? But I've been having my shit iced out. Man, I get my shit redid every year. You feel me? Ever since I was, like, 14, probably. You know what I'm saying? 15. So you had diamond, permanent diamond teeth at the time of 14, 15 years old? Yeah, well, back then, back then I had some snatch outs, you feel me? Oh. But then I got diamond teeth when I was still, like, probably, like, 17, 18, you know what I mean? I've been having married since. You know so I mean? 17, 18, that's when you went permanent? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, uh, were you still in high school when you were 17, 18 with nah, the permanent, or you I were was, out? Uh, shit, I was kicked out and shit, because I had uh, went to DOC and shit. I went to uh, boys' school or whatever, you know what I mean? It's like I see. Juvenile. Now, these diamond teeth that we see today, who was the jeweler of them? Shit, these motherfuckers is TV Johnny and then Crime, Crime Jewels down in H-Town. Now, I know diamonds can always vary in cost. Uh, mm -hmm. I know different precious metals, jewelry can vary in cost depending when it's purchased, and yeah. the value can go up and down, that sort of thing. But if one were to purchase exactly what you have today, what would something like that cost? Shit, more than any other rappers besides Birdman. <laughs> Could you That's the only thing I could say. You know what I'm saying? Shit, because TV Johnny do everybody's teeth. He said this is the this is the most expensive he won he done ever did. Mm. I see. Now, um, uh, and who did Birdman's? I don't even know. I think they said some dentist in New Orleans or something like that. Okay. Some Miami, I don't know. But to date, this is TV Johnny's yeah. most expensive permanent diamond teeth. Yeah. Have you met Paul Wall? No, I ain't met Paul. I met Johnny uh, several times. I fucked with Johnny real tough, but I ain't met Paul yet. I know no. Paul was, you know, made help make the Diamond Grills popular and that exactly. sort of thing. I wonder what he would think when he saw your teeth. I was just curious yeah. to see what his Hopefully opinion Hopefully he'll be proud of the kid, you know what I'm saying? Shit, shout out to H-Time, man. Shout out to uh, Paul Wall. Shout out to Satellite OG. Yeah, he got that gas. He got his own strain and shit. Now, what is the reaction you receive when people see your permanent diamond teeth? It, it depends what kind of person, you feel me? Like a, a white person, like corporate person, or is it somebody from the hood, or is it, you feel me? It's different everywhere I go. Like when, when I'm in the hood, shh, motherfuckers just going ape shit. Motherfuckers going crazy about these bitches, you feel me? Falling in love, your bitch gonna fall in love as soon as she see me, you know what I mean? That's certified. Don't <laughs> let me catch you in the club, that motherfucker gonna hit her eye, twinkle, twinkle, you know what I mean? It's gonna be a whole nother story. But shit like, you know, corporate people and white people, you feel me, they kinda get probably scared and shit, you know what I mean? But, or, or just, not scared, just don't know how to act, you feel me? Whenever they see something like that, they'll be all up in your mouth, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now, you mentioned you did have the snatch outs, right? The, the temporary yeah. pull in, pull out. What is your opinion nowadays of people that have the pull in, pull out diamond grills? Shit, man, I mean, if, if that's what you're doing, shit, do your thing. I ain't got nothing against it, but like the way I feel about mine is, if you mean, I, I ain't part time with this shit, bro. Like, this is the same, I, I'm the same me 24 7. Just like these tattoos on my face. I feel like you, I feel like getting removable gold teeth, especially the people that try to act like they removable golds is permanent. That's when it's a problem, you feel me? Like if you like, yeah, I got snatch out and these bitches hitting, that's what's up, you being a hundred. But when motherfuckers be like, oh, I got permanents and they snatch out, bro, like, they're trying to get stripes for something you ain't really having to go through the bullshit for. Like, 
I can't get a job. You feel me? I can't, you know what I'm saying, talk to corporate people, certain people, because why? Because when I go in an interview like this or anything, I can't just snatch them out and go talk to them real quick. Or I got a case with a detective, you know what I mean? Police try to talk to me and shit, trying to question me about some some crazy shit in the streets. I can't snatch these motherfuckers out and, and, and rub my tattoos off. You know what I'm saying? And act like I'm just... Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm a regular motherfucker. I didn't do nothing. Nah, bro. It shit, you put this shit on, then you accept what come with that. And if you don't, then shit, you a, you an actor. Ain't that what an actor does? Yeah. What did your parents think when you first got permanent, glo- uh, permanent diamond teeth? Shit, I ain't got no parents, you feel me? My uh. mama, my mama, shit, I got a mama, but, uh... I ain't got no pops, you know what I'm saying? The streets was my pops, you know what I mean? And the streets really was my mama too. I mean, she just now got, you know, clean and you know what I'm saying, everything like that. So she back right, you know what I'm saying? She she doing good now. So, you know. But she wasn't around in my childhood, shit like that, you know what I mean? Now, is there a meaning behind uh, why you decided to get permanent diamond teeth? I know people get them for different reasons. Was there ever one for you? Yeah, man, shit, whenever I was young and shit, man, I just used to see that shit on TV, like, shit, I was born in 91, you feel me? I'm a 90s baby, you feel me? So, my era, I seen, growing up, I seen H-Town was big and shit, like, 04, 05, you know what I'm saying? It was big, and I always used to see that shit, like, man, when I get my bag, when I get older, I'm finna get diamonds, and they finna be permanent till I die, you know what I'm saying? Now, you said you have to, uh, you get them touched up every year, right? Mm-hmm. What's the reasoning behind that? Is that something you just do because you're told to by the jeweler to do? Or is that something nah. just a personal preference? Well, shit, you're supposed to go get them, like, uh, polished and buffed and shit like ah. that every six months to a year or whatever. But I've been upgrading my shit every year, not just polished. I've been taking them out and putting new sets with you know what I mean? Better shit in them every year. More mm. diamonds, more stones, clearer diamonds. You feel me? Like I used to just have VS1 stones in my diamonds. And then I upgraded them to all IF, which mm. is internally flawless. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of motherfuckers don't even know what the steps to the diamonds mean. You know what I mean? That is that a painful experience for you? A little bit. Not really, though. Not okay. too bad. You got to be drugged up a little bit. <laughs> Now, when it comes to having the permanent diamond teeth, and we were talking about different reactions you get, do you feel discrimination, stereotyping, or profiling? Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. 1,000 million percent. Shit. But What's see, I'm, I'm smart enough to know, you feel me, I've been to prison, I've been to all over the country, all over, so I understand a motherfucker just ain't never seen nothing like that before. I'm I'm like an alien to them, you feel me? But when I was younger, though, like, I used to hate that shit, bro. I used to, but now I know. I know that if I wouldn't have got these tats on my face and these goals in my mouth and dressed in a business suit, that same motherfucker might not look at me like that. You know what I'm saying? See, nowadays, don't get me wrong, racism, that shit's still big as fuck. You know what I mean? It's still hella racist motherfuckers, but, like, Nowadays, it's more about the way that you present yourself. You know what I'm saying? And I learned that the hard way, bro, from being locked up on and off my whole life. I used to blame that shit on the system, but the system fucked up. Don't get me wrong. You feel me? It's planned for you to fail. But at the same time, bro, it's ways around it. Like when I first got out of prison, bro, shit, I was still getting me doing my, you know what I'm saying? Getting my money and shit, but I was dressing like, wearing Lacoste and polos and khaki shorts and shit, you feel me? And then as soon as I would get outside, back to the crib, outside the little hood and shit, bro, I'd go back to throwing the clothes I want to wear on, driving the foreign, you know what I mean? When I'm in the hood, I'm ducked off in the motherfucking caravan, you know what I'm saying? Like, cause shit, just last week, the motherfucking DEA impounded my car and shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, every time I'm in my hometown, they on my ass, task force, drug task force, all that old shit, you know what I mean? Can you move? Shit, I already did. That's why shit, I shouldn't even have been there last week. I was just there visiting family and shit. That shit crazy. So now I'm just moving my family out that bitch. I'm finna move my whole family to Houston. Out of all the different reactions you've experienced, what's been maybe the craziest or the worst story because of that discrimination, profiling, stereotyping feeling? 
Has there been something that stands out? Just it's the police. You know what I mean? Like every time a motherfucker pull past you, you gotta you gotta be willing to know what come with that. You feel me? You gotta have your tinted windows or your whatever. You know what I'm saying? Even that. If they catch you and they see you looking like that, they gonna pull you over. They gonna stereotype. You just gotta live with it. It's the world we live in. 2017 or not, that's the world we live in, man. It's still racist as fuck. Any regrets on the permanent diamond teeth? I mean, you get them fixed or, or upgraded each year, so I'm imagining you don't have any Hell regrets, no. but <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna ask yeah. anyways. No, I would have regrets if I didn't have money to redo them every year. <laughs> you ah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> but these motherfuckers probably have regrets because they, because look, if you got your bag right, right, I go do whatever the fuck I want to go do to my teeth. I can color them blue, purple, stone, A, B, C, one, two, three, and then I go drop 50K and get them all ripped out and put brand new ones in like thugging them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that's simple. So have you ever thought about, like, veneers or lumineers oh, and, yeah, and probably, Hollywood whites? I might fuck around and, and, and do that shit when I get to a certain age, you feel me? Like, when I'm, when I'm older or something, whenever my, you know, whenever I just feel like it or something, but... For the most part, these motherfuckers is in for life. I really don't think I'm going to ever pull them out. You mm. know what I'm saying? I think I'm going to die. I'm going to be in the casket with these bitches. I hope they don't try to grave dig and uh, <laughs> tomb raid on my ass. You feel me? Shit. They're going to be in my shit like a King Tut. I'm going to be in that bitch draped in diamonds and gold. I'm going to have to put uh, armed security guards around my uh, house. <laughs> you know what I mean?